Okay, um, so my topic is um, about Christmas in France. Um, I thought of doing Christmas in France because it's the season. So I thought, why not do something which is in the season? So, um, so um, I have included a few topics which are related to Christmas. I'll be talking about the advent and then about two popular Christmas markets in France, about the Christmas Eve, uh, followed up by the 13 desserts and the French festive greetings. Um, so if there's anybody who is wondering about what the Advent is, Advent is basically the time in which um, you prepare yourself for Christmas. So starting from the 1st of December until the 25th of December, people get ready for Christmas. So the period in which you get ready is called the Advent. So um, this tradition of having Advent calendars, it's not only uh, popular in France, but in many countries where Christmas is celebrated. Um, they have these little calendars which have windows on it with uh, the date starting from the uh, 1st of December to um, the 31st of December. So for example, um, today is the 11th of December. So if we had an advent calendar, then we had to open the window which has 11th of December on the little window or panel. There are many types of advent calendars. So as you saw on the video, the girl um, opens the window and then she picks a chocolate. So that is an advent calendar which has chocolates in it. But also there are um, advent calendars which basically um, feature religious messages. So even for that, uh, like we have to open the window which is relevant to the, uh, to the date. Christmas markets in France. Um, so the first Christmas markets were called December markets and they firstly took place in Munich, Germany around the 1310. Um, and also due to the fact that France and Germany um, border each together. So here, this is France and this is Germany and this is their border. Um, these markets have um, a Christmas, uh, have um, a Germanic and French taste in their um, in their market. So it's basically like a blend of both cultures. And also, as you see in the pictures, the Christmas markets have these wooden huts um, or stalls where they basically sell things like handicrafts and different, you know biscuits types and stuff like that. So even from the picture, you can see the festive vibe um, in it. Now let's move on to Strasbourg market, which is basically the oldest Christmas market in Europe um, because uh, it, it took place in the 1570 and um, Strasbourg is also considered as the capital of France. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry, uh, the capital of Christmas. So as you see on the first picture, you can see Strasbourg, capital the Noel, which basically says um, capital of Christmas because Noel is um, Christmas. So Strasbourg is considered uh, to be the capital of Christmas due to its huge market, which has around 341 stalls offering culinary specialties and local handicrafts. And it ha it's also called as the biggest um, Christmas market in Europe. Then we have the Metz market, which is the second largest market, which um, is um, located near to Strasbourg. And um, it's this, this place also is close to Germany. So therefore it has a blend of both German and French cultures. And it's interesting that it attracts roughly 2 million visitors each year because when I was um, 
searching for points on about um, these Christmas markets, I found out pages in which they basically give you like they let you plan your trip. So there are people who are um, going to France during December just to um, go through these uh, Christmas markets and feel that Christmas vibe in it. Because on those sites, you have like uh, the closest hotels uh, to the Mets market and then at what time you have to go to the markets and stuff like that. So by that itself, we can assume uh, how many people are attracted to these Christmas markets. Then we have Christmas Eve, um, which is called Réveillon in French. Um, this takes place on the 24th of December. So normally in most of the countries, uh, the Christmas dinner takes place on the 25th of December. But in France, it takes place on the 24th of December. And what's interesting is that the 24th of December is not a um, public holiday in France. So people will have to go to work and then come home for the Christmas dinner. This Christmas dinner can last for more than six hours. So it's a very pompous meal. And uh, the word uh, réveillon comes from the re verb which uh, is réveiller, which means to wake up because um, French people, people have to um, stay um, awake uh, because they have to go to the late Christmas mass. So um, the verb réveillon basically comes from that verb. The 13 desserts. So the 13 desserts are followed up by the, um, the Christmas meal or the réveillon, which takes place. So it's basically after that. So after six hours of eating, you have to um, get to this tradition, which um, is called les trey desserts de Noël. And it's a tradition in Provence. Provence um, is a town in the southern, um, uh, southeast part of France. So um, these 13 deserts, as you see on the pictures, there are 13 deserts. And these basically represent Jesus and his 12 apostles at the Last Supper. And um, there are two musts. So um, each, each and every person has to at least have a bite of all these 13 desserts. And it's very important to have at least 13 desserts because these food, um, because these items have um, different symbolisms. For example, um, there's, um, because as you see on the pictures, they have dates, dried plums and stuff like that. So for example, um, there's an item called fugues, which is an olive oil flattened bread, which is eaten with grape jam, um, where you do not have to, uh, because normally we cut bread with a knife. But here, the tradition is to uh, break the, the, this, uh, this olive oil flattened bread with your fingers so that it symbolizes that it will protect you uh, from bankruptcy in the coming year. Also, it's uh, very important to set these on Christmas Eve and keep uh, these desserts for three days until the 27th of December. French festive greetings. So if you want to um, wish somebody a Merry Christmas, then you will have to say Joyeux Noël. Uh, sorry for my pronunciation. And what's interesting is that, uh, actually, this is a fun fact. In, um, in France, you should make sure that you never wish a person Happy New Year before midnight, because it's said to bring bad luck. So for example, when I read this, I remembered that like when I was going to, when I was schooling, um, like on the last day, on the day that we got our holidays, the teachers would say Happy New Year. But for us, it's not an issue. It doesn't bring bad luck. But apparently in France, uh, it brings bad luck if you wish anyone one uh, before midnight. So it's better to make sure that you check the time when wishing. So we have come to an end of my presentation. Thank you for paying your attention. And I'm wishing you a very uh, happy new year. Merry Christmas.